Oh, that feels good. Oh, hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. Gareth Southgate losing control of England with ridiculous comments about taking young players for an experience and not actually using them on the pitch. And Harry Kane, Harry Kane to be dropped by England question mark. Should that be happening? Will it happen? Lots to discuss as we move towards pivotal games in the Euros these next three days. None more so than England against Czech Republic on Tuesday. Could this be England's final week in the Euros in pits as potential? Well, they are potential really hosts considering that they're playing so many games at Wembley but you caught me with uh, an, a nose trimmer up my nose nothing else god don't be, don't be, don't be sinister we are sponsored by Manscaped today Europe's best football competition is back this summer with the Euros and avo you can avoid a Marouin and Fellaini bush in your midfield and clean up your midsection with the Manscaped being proud sponsors of that football be a proper lad this tournament and shave your bits with the best and global leaders in below the way screaming Manscaped Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code FOOTY at manscaped.com. Links are in the video description for that. The Manscaped Razor is a super premium and boasts a 90-minute battery life. Also, waterproof to technology, so you can use them in the shower. And it's even got, even got an, uh, a little LED light, as you can see. It comes with its own USB charging stand, so you can stand it up proud in your bathroom. So when anyone comes around... They'll know that you trim your area down there and could get it looking as good as it does above the waist. I don't know. Uh, and of, of course, uh, because Manscaped care about all the nuts that watch this show, nuts being a play on the balls, um, uh, that watch this show, they're giving, it, as I say, a huge 20% off plus free shipping worldwide with the code FOOTY at checkout. So... Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. Fantastic quality products. And as I said, I, that, I actually was using the nose trimmer there. If you're of a certain age... You'll know what I mean. If you're not, well done. It's coming. Um, nasal trimmer. Really good products. I use this all the time. Yeah, just before I'm going live, just get get rid of anything that might be dangling down. My, you know, I'll tell you what, there's no problem with uh, CO2 emission up my nose because my nasal, nasal hair grows quicker than a forest. It's, it's back in the day. But um, links in the video description, 20% off. Fantastic products. Big shout out to Manscaped. And uh, you can get 20% off, as I said. Link in the video description. Right, get on with the show. Um, I tell you what, we do need to show a bit of balls tomorrow night, England. And look, thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring the show. It sort of fits in well as well. England need to show a bit of balls tomorrow. Southgate needs to show a bit of balls tomorrow. Because the reality is that this calling for Harry Kane to be dropped, let's deal with that first. And then we'll deal with these comments from Southgate, where he's basically saying that the likes of Jaden Sancho, Jude Bellingham, whilst they're explosive talents, they're young players, it's their first tournament, and we've got to be wary of that. So, I mean, that, that to me just sounds like we're taking them on a school excursion. Oh, come to Wembley and have a look around. Oh, look, this is where the dressing room is. This is where the players play. Play them! Bloody well play them. Michael Owen, Wayne Rooney, they've been taken to major tournaments a lot younger than these players. Well, not younger than Bellingham, but a lot younger than Sancho. And they've been played and they've made, they've lit the tournament up. Michael Owen in 98, uh, Wayne Rooney in 2004. That the evidence is there of chucking young players in. And and can I just say as well, Jaden Sancho, Jaden Sancho left this country, was he 16, 17, to go to Germany. They don't speak English there. He went to Germany to further his career. He made a brave decision decision as a very young lad, what, four years ago? He's played Champions League football, he's played Bundesliga football, he's been a success in a country that's not England. And we're led to believe that this is his first big tournament. So he's just, he's just got to experience it. Get him on the bloody right wing. This feeds into what I'm talking about. So, um, Southgate is losing control. I nearly said Solskjaer there. So used to talking about Solskjaer in United Stand. Southgate is... And the sa, sa, SO start doesn't help. Um, but he's losing control. He, and look, I, I the, people will say, oh, you're putting pressure on the team. Blah, blah, bloody blah. Like, you know, at the end of the day... England has always been a high-pressure job. For many years, it was the most pressured job in football. Is it still that? I don't know, because I think the media have started to give free rides to people. Like Hodgson didn't really get a lot of flack. Southgate's not really getting a lot of flack. And the reality is, they should be. This is a major tournament. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is a major tournament. This is where you need to turn up and perform. And tomorrow night, I, we're going through anyway, but tomorrow night is a big game because we could lose that, we could perform badly, and then in next week, we are going to be playing France or Germany. That's what it's looking like. So we've got to find some form. We can't, if we beat, if we draw with Czech Republic, we can't just go, oh, it's coming home against Germany and France. You've got to take some momentum. Look at Italy. 
Look at Germany. They've got momentum. They've got rhythm. They've got tactics. They've got a vision. England haven't. They're stumbling round in a blindfold. They're going to fall down a manhole. Uh, I mean, or a woman hole. No, it's not a woman hole. What do they call them in the road now? I want to be diverse. Manhole. But if you say woman hole, that just sounds wrong. But you know what I mean? They're going to fall down one. You know, somebody's took the lid off. They're walking down the street. They fall down the hole. Let's just call it a hole. But the reality is they are falling down a hole if they're not careful. Next week, we are out of the Euros. We are going to lose to France, Germany, maybe Portugal, if they pull off something against France on Wednesday. We will lose even though we've got the players to do well. So people talking about Harry Kane being dropped, I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, Harry Kane should not be dropped. This to me, I've noticed this a lot, whether it's pundits, whether it's the media, they're moving away from the actual conversation here. If this was Joe, imagine if Jose Mourinho was in charge, right? And we'd played against Croatia and Scotland. All weekend, it would have been pictures of Mourinho with a vegetable on his head, like they did with Graham Taylor. You know, abhorrent behaviour by the press. They'd have absolutely gone into him. They said, this is boring football. He's not using people like Sancho and Grealish. Boring football. Harry Kane's being misused. He's not He's not using the younger player. You know, they'd be all over him. But because Southgate is a nice guy and speaks well off the pitch, it's like, no, no, no. We can't go in on Gareth. We can't go in him. Let's put it on Harry Kane. Let, 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 let's find an excuse. The weather. You know, Scotland were, look, you know, whatever. The reality is England were shite against Scotland and deserve all the criticism. And the main criticism has to be with the coaching staff because we've got a squad that I believe if you put Mancini in charge of it or you put Deschamps in charge of it, then we would be playing much better than we are. We are not getting the best out of a very good set of players. And Harry Kane is one of those players. Harry Kane is one of the best strikers in the world. His price tag is over £100 million. Now, whether you think it should be 150 or 120 or 110 it's over £100 million. We've got a £100 million striker and he's wearing an England badge. You want to drop him? You know, what? what's that nonsense all about? Telling you now, seeing it with United, Martial, Cavani, Rashford, whoever plays at number nine for half of that season last year were getting five out of tens in their player ratings, but they were getting no service. Harry Kane's getting no service. And I can always spot a, a frustrated striker, and we saw it with Rashford as well when he came on. A frustrated striker, I've seen it year on year, will start coming deep. They'll start wandering towards the halfway line, which is which is an absolute statement of bad coaching and frustrated striker. Because if, the, if they're dropping deep off coaching... That's a bloody joke. If they're dropping deep off their own accord, that's frustration that they're not getting into the game. Either way, it's not good. Your striker should be playing on the last man to push, push them back. Harry Kane's not doing that because he's got Raheem Sterling who's not passing. You've got um, and, and you've got a midfield who's not getting the ball. Attacking midfield is not getting the ball. It's side to side. So they're hitting these long balls that Harry Kane's never going to get onto for Sterling to try and get onto. There's no crosses coming into the box. But hey-ho, you know what? Jack Grealish is so creative off the left-hand side. Jaden Sancho is so creative off the right-hand side. Get Sancho and Grealish into this team. Put Harry Kane through the middle. Start moving the ball forward. Get Bellingham in instead of Phillips because he'll drive the ball forward. And we know what? We'll start to attack a little bit more. We've got to attack a little bit more. Uh, look at add our best area of the pitch is the final third. That's where all our talent is. Our midfield is okay. Our defence is okay. Our attack is our asset. And that's what Southgate's got to get the best out of. Will Harry Kane be dropped for the Czech Republic? Well, no, he shouldn't be. And no, he won't. Um, because he shouldn't be dropped anyway because we should be building a team that can create chances for him. You know, you need to get your fullbacks overlapping. But Southgate won't drop South, uh, won't drop Harry Kane and he won't drop Sterling and he won't drop Phillips and, and he probably won't start Grealish and he probably won't start Sancho because he's got his favourites. He's not, he's not going to change it. He will stick by people like Sterling and Phillips and, you know, maybe Foden. All three of those, I think, have had a go. They've had two games. They've had a go. And there are there is Bellingham, there is Sancho, and there is uh, Grealish, who I think deserve a start. We've not started this tournament well. We've scored one goal in two games. We played well for 20 minutes against Croatia. We were terrible against Scotland. Players need to be dropped. They need to be dropped. You know, and you know what? If Grealish and Sancho start and they don't play well for an hour or so, you take them off and you get Sterling and Foden on. But I don't understand what people's obsession is with this favourite mentality. Oh, he plays for my club. Oh, he's a good player. They've had two games. They've not performed. Now, I sympathise with Foden because I don't like him on the right. But with Sterling and Phillips, look, Phillips played well against Croatia. Looks like it was a flash in the pan. The midfield is not moving the ball well enough from back to front. And I'm telling you now, Gareth Southgate's out of a job in a week because if he doesn't change this team, 
If I feel he's losing the dressing room, I think he's losing the nation, and the press are staying very loyal to him, but they'll find it unattainable to stay loyal to him when we're knocked out in the last 16, and that's what we're heading for. I think it's a week today or a week tomorrow that we play in the last 16, because we will be in the last 16, and we will be out. Out before the quarterfinals at Wembley, embarrassing. Czech Republic tomorrow is a game we would like to win. If we lose, we still go through anyway, but we need to win it because we need to take something into that France game. If he or, or Germany or Portugal, because if he takes Sterling and Phillips and everyone and Foden starts them all tomorrow, then I feel we're, we're out in a week because that team is never going to click. He's got to try something new. He's got to get creativity into the box. You've got Harry Kane, one of the best number nines in world football, and you are not playing to his strengths. You are not giving providing him with players that are putting balls into the box. And, and that is why Southgate, to me, is losing control. But Harry Kane must start, as far as I'm concerned. He needs players to create chances for him. To me, Harry Kane has been a scapegoat to avoid putting the pointing the finger at where the real problem is, which is the coaching. And how can you say that someone like Jadon Sancho, it's his, first com it's his first tournament and we've got to appreciate that he's young, when he left the country four years ago to go and play in Germany and has tore it up? I mean, he's got more experience than most of our first team, but now he's young. I mean, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching. Smash a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. And remember, we've got both of the set of games today. Five o'clock, it's the Dutch group. Eight o'clock, it's the Danish group. Come on, Denmark. Watch alongs on this channel. Smash a like and subscribe. I'll speak to you all in a bit. And remember, Manscaped, 20% off and free shipping. Uh, trim your yard to make your grass look bigger. And also, if you've got nasal hair, this is very good as well. Get back to it.